as the evening drew in on Saturday at the BNP Paribas Open. Third seed Novak Djokovic found himself out on the practice courts with two celebrity fans. Actor Will Ferrell and American Idol judge Randy Jackson making the most of their opportunity to meet the Australian Open champion and offer him a little help with the balls. Over on stadium court, Rafael Nadal was in action against South African qualifier Rick De Vost. Playing in his first regular tour match since injuring himself at the Australian Open, the world number one looked in impressive form as he smashed his way through the opening set. There's that superior firepower that I'm talking about. Nadal was making the South African work for every point. Divorced having to ride his luck just to get on the scoreboard. There he goes. Oh, that's, what he's got, that's what he's got to do to win a point. <laughs> yeah, finally, something goes to first way. But Rafa was not in a forgiving mood and continued to dictate proceedings throughout the second set. I love that shot, Doug. Uh, Rafael Nadal wraps up his opening match here at the BMP Party Bio Open very impressively. No, sure, it's a, it's a good meal. Come back to the tour and have a, a victory. Probably today wasn't a, a real test. Sorry for, for Rick because he, he played, I think, a good tournament, but today probably he played more nervous though than, than usual. And it's difficult to, to, to make a, a big analysis of the, of the match. Out on stadium court two, 15th seed Joe Wilfred Songa found himself locked into a tough battle with Belgium's Xavier Melisse. In their first career meeting, there was little to choose between them in a close opening set. Melisse just edging it on a breaker. Songa hit back in the second set to take the early break. But the Frenchman was unable to make the most of his opportunity as he failed to serve out the set. With the momentum now firmly in his court, the Belgian pressed on as he looked to close out the match in straight sets. What a shot, the backhand! Doing the damage! Malice with a major scalp. The last match of the day saw fourth seed Robin Sodling take on the 30-year-old German Mikhail Barrer. Sodling has already beaten the world number 78 once this year, and once again the Swede was dominant right from the off. Oh, that was beautiful. He held that ball to the last split second. He made Barrer commit, and then he just laid it in nice and easy. The world number four came into this week on a 10-match winning streak, having picked up titles in Rotterdam and Marseille last month. And as this match unfolded, it seemed there was little chance of the German ending that run. Oh, yeah. Measured it beautifully. And he doesn't waste any more time. Great fight by Barrer. Michael Barrer put up quite a resistance, but Robin Soderling just too strong. And advances to the third round with a hard-fought six. Elsewhere on Saturday, Marcus Bagdatis was an early casualty as he was beaten 7-5-6 love by India's Somdev Deverman. David Ferrer was another of the big names to crash out in round two, the Spaniard losing 7-6-6-3 to Ivo Karlovic. American Sam Query overcame the tricky Serb Janko Tipsarovic, 6-4, 6-4. And 11th seed Nicolas Almagro set up a third round meeting with fellow Spaniard Albert Montañez. 
The BNP Paribas Open continues tomorrow, with both Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic in action. So be sure to catch all the live matches right here on TennisTV.com.